So actually, here's another quick video because I got a question about how to do noses. Um, and so this is actually not the greatest paper to use, uh, but we'll be able to work with it. Uh, I just don't want to use my really good Arches paper for this example. Um, but I am going to do a video of uh, my next dog so you'll be able to see that whole process. But if you're just curious about how I do my noses, uh, I start out with uh, Daniel Smith Indigo. And I do just kind of a, a base wash uh, on the whole nose. I like indigo because most blacks have some blue in them, uh, and it's just a good starting point. Um, so I have found. So just adding more water. Again, this is multimedia paper, so it's not really the best watercolor paper, but. If I can make it look good on this, imagine how good you can make it look on real nice paper. So, um, it's just kind of a light wash to start. It's usually darker on the lower half of the nose, so I'm just going to add a little bit more pigment down here. Um, and then I'm going to use some neutral tint. Um, I use a filbert, like, I don't know what number this brush is. It's like a number zero filbert. It's a really, it's just a brush I got in a kit off of Amazon, so it's nothing special. Um, synthetic bristles, um, but it works well. So uh, I like it for the, the nostrils. You can kind of do a nice little pull with it there. Um, actually, I'm going to show you how I screw up and how I fix it because nobody's perfect or maybe some of you guys are perfect, but I'm definitely not perfect. Um, and I'm just going to blot up a little bit of water because this paper is not absorbing it in the way that I usually work. Slight learning curve. That's okay. We work with it. Um, I'm going to do my nostrils again and then a little bit more indigo with some more neutral tint and I'm just going to kind of define my edges there's always a little line in the middle actually before I do the line I'm gonna just cover in another layer here um, the way light works, usually <clears throat> you're going to see one side of the nose being a little bit lighter than the other side, so for this purpose I'm going to have the right side, the light coming down from this way. Um, and I'm a big fan of putting it on and then lifting it off. Um, to get that kind of shine that you're looking for in a nose. On the normal paper I work on, it actually, you get this really cool kind of a stippling effect with the, the paint. Um, and you're kind of seeing it here a little bit too as I brush away the little bit of deviations. Mm -hmm. This paper is might end up lifting mm -hmm. off with me. That's my dog having a fit mm -hmm. under the tape. Chill out. <sighs> puppy wars <clears throat> so you can kind of see here it's a process of putting on and taking off under the nose there's always a little bit of light as well so I'm just gonna add a little lift here and a little bit of a lift here um, and then another layer I have uh, variations of dark colors. I'll just kind of show you real quick. This is my huge palette. I went nuts. Um, and I have a whole bunch of different grays um, that I use. This is like a light cool gray. This is a warm gray. But these guys in here are just, uh, I think I have a Payne's gray in there. And so I'll do different combinations of like 
in, I'm mixing my indigo with my Payne's gray and just kind of doing a light wash and um, filling in a little bit more on the dark edges where I want to have some color, some additional color. Um, like this. Wetting my brush to kind of soften strokes a little bit. Mm, a little bit more color. I'm going to actually add color against all of it. And then I'm going to pull away. Add a little bit more water onto my brush. And just kind of lift a little bit. Lift, lift, lift. I'll lift a little bit down. So, <clears throat> if anybody has any questions, um, let me know. I'm happy to help. Uh, share what I know. I don't know everything, but if you see something I'm doing that you like and are curious or have seen something that I've done, um, and just want to know a little bit more about it, let me know. Um, just gonna take off a little bit from there. Move that around. Darken the nose up a bit more. Yep. Um, so that's looking decent, um, all things considered for little five minutes. Uh, usually I'll spend about, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes on the nose. Um, I focus a lot of time on the nose and on the eyes because those are the kind of two elements that stand out that people really notice. Uh, the nose because it's usually the closest to you and the eyes because that's where everybody looks first. Um, so there's that. Um, that's just with adding color and wiping away. Hopefully I can show you without any glare. It's kind of wet, so might not. There we go. Um, I'm not looking at an image right now. So if I'm following a reference photo, I'll add a bit more detail in wherever the reference photo is showing. Like sometimes you'll get like these dark spots underneath the nose, just some wrinkling in the nose, um, or there might be a darker edge on this side, something like that, um, just to kind of add a little bit more depth. But the other thing that I do um, over here, I have some white gouache that I just squeezed out onto here and it dries, but uh, I end up wetting it and using it. so. You can kind of play around with how much you use. You can use a lot of it. Um, focus in here. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's put this here. A little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Um, and once I put it on, I wet my brush and I just clean it and kind of soften the edges a bit. I like white gouache on noses because I think it creates kind of like a, a really nice milky film that adds to the 3D effect um, of what I'm kind of going for. I like it when they look like they're popping out. So you can just do it that way. Um, I probably, if I was doing a real painting, um, I'd add on top of this white gouache some more uh, dark um, layers layers and layers because as you I don't know I guess this is kind of from an oil painting technique so I'm sure it's considered overworking in the watercolor world but I really actually like the effect that it gives to watercolors because you can pull away um, kind of nicely I don't know it's fun I like it it's how I do it so it's the way it is um, the other thing I'll do is 
take just uh, some pretty concentrated white gouache right at the tips um, and just kind of dabble in a bit to get the little bumps that most puppies have. Every puppy nose is different, every fingerprint is different, so this is a total generalization. I'm not using a reference photo. This is just off my head, so it's not going to be the best, but it'll be decent. And one thing I want to do. 